Hello fellow computer enthusiasts, welcome back to ILTP WC, my name is Christian, hope you're doing well today. In today's episode I'm going to introduce to you Ansible, a very powerful configuration and orchestration tool. And all that in just 90 seconds. So without further ado, let's go. Ansible, owned by Red Hat, is an open source provisioning, configuration management and application deployment tool. It uses a simple human readable language called YAML. The main advantage of Ansible is simplicity. Unlike other tools, there is no need for special coding skills. All you need is to write your instructions in a playbook and Ansible does the rest for you. A playbook is a YAML file where you define what you want to achieve. You describe the desired state of your system and Ansible ensures that this state will be achieved. Here's an example of a playbook. This playbook will install Nginx on all hosts under web servers. The task is divided into two parts, installing the enterprise Linux extension and then Nginx. Notice the use of state present. This is the desired state of our system. With Ansible, you can manage a few servers or thousands of them. It uses an agentless architecture, making it lightweight and highly scalable. You don't need to install any additional software on your nodes. Ansible communicates over SSH or WinRM. What's more, Ansible has a vast collection of modules, pre-built scripts made for a wide range of tasks. Whether you are dealing with files, databases or cloud infrastructure, there's likely an Ansible module for it. So why use Ansible? It's simple, powerful and versatile. It allows for efficient orchestration and application deployment, which means less time worrying about configuration and more time focusing on your application. And don't forget, Ansible has an incredible support of community, whether you are just starting out or troubleshooting at once playbook. Thanks a lot for watching this episode of ILTP WC. If you like the content, please smash that subscribe button and also hit the like button. And if you have questions, please just write a comment in the comment section. I'm really looking forward to talk to you. Thanks a lot and bye bye.